I've got a John Deere 6x4 with a diesel engine, which is the Yanmar 3TNV70. This is the water pump off it, and I was going to replace the bearings in it, so I thought I'd get one of those eBay Chinese water pumps for Yanmar, which was like 100 something bucks versus the 400 bucks for the Deere version. And the taking apart, I just thought I'd show you the difference. Uh, it won't work, and I'll show you why in a second, but you can see the castings are pretty much the same. Uh, if you broke your casting and you need a new one, yeah, this would work. But the biggest difference between the insides of these two things is the impellers. That's the Chinese impeller. And listen, you're only paying 100 bucks, so you get what you pay for. Uh, and this is the original deer impeller. The seals, this is the original deer seal, which was even after pressing out, still in decent shape. There was the Chinese one that didn't last the shot press. Got a gasket, which is great, but the big difference is the back plate. And this is the original back plate. Here's the replacement. They all line up, they all fit, but this area right here, that's the edge of the motor housing. And above that, that's gonna be air. So if you go to put this guy on your engine, it'll be great, it'll bolt up just fine, but you're gonna have Stuff spewing all over the top right there where the housing or the casting of the engine isn't there. And you can see where it's kind of divoted out. I'm not a cynic, but I have to imagine John Deere wanted that done so you could buy their water pumps. Other than that though, if you want to rebuild it, it took me a long time to find the bearings. These are the measurements of the bearing on the diesel. Yours may be different, so do check that out. And then to find it, I called these guys. They were very helpful. And this is the this is the existing bearing that was in it, and it was a Koyo out of Japan. I wanted another decent one. The one out of the Chinese version was a no-name. And so to, in order to try to find something that was, was decent, the guys at ASC found me an NSK bearing that's the part number, BWF30-231XR, and then the seal is an NSK seal 2003ML, and that'll fit in. The difference, obviously, though, is the length. I gotta trim this much off, but that's not the end of the world. At least I got a decent bearing and I can rebuild this guy and put it back in service. So don't buy this guy unless you need the castings. It's not gonna be a plug-and-play.